of you too. I want to explain to you today why I am so excited about the mitochondria cream, the mitochondria booster cream. And I don't think I've done that so far. Our clients are excited about it. And, but we, because we are so modest, we didn't make a big fuss. Now, here is the cream. But I have to explain to you why we made it and how we made it. Okay, it's a bit different from everything else we have. First of all, I have to tell you quickly what are mitochondria. You study this in high school, probably, maybe in college, and you should know what they are. Um, the main reason why you should know what they are is that um, the reason why you respire is because you have mitochondria. The reason, the, the reason why you can use food is because you have mitochondria. So it's a, it, mitochondria are very small organelles that are inside our cells that make the very, very hard work of respiration. And don't worry too much about understanding the pictures because I'm going to put them up on our website. But I want to tell you briefly, as briefly as I can, what the whole thing is about, okay? So if you here have your skin, which I keep always showing you this here, your skin is made out of tissues. Here is a man or a woman, doesn't matter, is made out of tissues and organs. Skin is just one of the many organs in the body. If you keep going down and down, it means going, looking at smaller and smaller and smaller aspects of your body. You'll end up looking at your cell. And when you go inside the cell, you have many different organelles. And mitochondria are in charge of respiration. Now here I have a little bit bigger picture of mitochondria. This is how they look like in an electron microscope. And this is a, this is a diagram. And just they are very complicated organelles, even by looking at them um, just at the level of the membranes. They have a very intricate membrane here, a membrane that folds and folds and folds. And the reason why there is so much folding here is because you need a lot of area to do so much respiration. And if you look a bit more in detail, you are going to find here some stuff that you are familiar with. Um, stuff that you are familiar with in terms of actives. For example, um, niacinamide, works is related to what happens in mitochondria. Coenzyme Q10 is related to what happens in mitochondria. And so are many of the actives that you use in skin creams, in the latest fashion of skin creams that are addressing skin aging um, seriously. Now, because mitochondria are in charge of respiration, mitochondria suffer more than anything else in our bodies from the stress of oxygen. When you do respiration, you take up oxygen and you eliminate CO2 and water. And that oxygen that comes in has a lot of um, byproducts. Um, that are not very good for you. So, mitochondria are going to age earlier than the rest of your cells, okay? And that's part of the problem. They say that you age because your mitochondria age. So if we are going to address skin aging, we have to address mitochondria aging. And that's what we do. And in the next one, I'm going to show you what, how we do that. Thank you.